is harder than what you want and very sweaty and very humid. How humid? Remember I told you I was in Dallas. Now, remember, if you cut open an orange, you leave on your table. Now, in Dallas, the orange, the after you cutting open the orange side, the orange side, uh, everything cut open, what happened to it? The top part will get dry up pretty quick. In an hour, it start drying up. Why? Because very, very low humidity. So the fruit itself get dries up very quickly. But in Taiwan, it's completely opposite. The, the food you leave on the table, it won't get dried up. Okay? You get moisture. Okay? You will get something that, you know, get rotten pretty quickly. So remember, it's very humid. All right, you will get you will sweaty a lot. So, if your handkerchief, bring some. If you don't, you know, bring a little uh, napkins or tissue paper with you. Okay, because you're gonna sweat. You gotta pay yourself. Like what I did here, you gotta get all the tissues that you can put in your pocket. You know, you know, start. You know, just it, it's just humid. It's very humid. In winter, which is coming well, not coming up now. It's only. Um, um, August, so we get into the fall weather, but the uh, winter semester, which is what we call the fall semester coming up, you will get into the colder uh, weather. So in winter, we don't have snow here. Now remember I told you Taiwan is an island, it is, um, it, don't, it doesn't get snow, but it gets cold though. You have to bring something, you need to bring a sweater, you need to bring jacket. Now remember something, if you want to travel light, you don't need to because Taiwan's clothing, okay, the polo shirt, the sweater, it's good, good shopping place. I'm not trying to tell you to spend more money here. I'm just trying to tell you that if you travel like Taiwan's clothing are very good. And we have so many outlet malls, we have outlet malls with department stores, clothing, the cost of clothes is not that much money, all right? unless you got to bring your own. It's a different story, all right? Now, spring and fall, beautiful place to live. You know, you just enjoy it, all right? Now, right now, August, of course, is hot, so people wear polo shorts like what I did right now. All right, housing. Now, I know most of you are students. Housing is expensive. But housing is like all the major cities, okay? You compare. Well, we don't compare to a um, lot of like Beverly Hills, that kind of you know, rich area. But in comparison, like Tokyo, um, like Seoul, Taipei City is also very expensive. But it's just like every real estate, location, location, location. Doesn't matter where you go, housing is expensive right now, unless or otherwise that you're living in the village area, or somewhere out of the area, they'll get cheaper. All right, housing space, but for the rent, I will share with you later. All right, apartment. You're concerned about apartment now. Um, let's see, how are we gonna rent apartment for the better pricing? I'm telling you in average, I just did research not long ago, okay, we're not prepared for this seminar. Apartment rent around your school, just talking about around your school, uh, dormitory exception, okay? It's around six to nine thousand Taiwan dollars. NTD, look at new Taiwan dollars. Now, you might question about, you know, is there any old Taiwan dollars? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. Now we talk about NTD, okay? The dollar sign, NTD, okay? It's about nine, six to nine thousand. And how big it is it? Okay, one bedroom, okay? about four to six square meters. I try to you know calculate in ping or or um, square inches or square square feet. But I think use a metric system will be better. Well you you do know how big is the four to six square meter, right? With a shower, but people probably the landlord won't let you cook unless they have a it depends on location. It depends on what kind of um, objects they, they, they're going to rent it to you. Uh, with a shower, maybe about two to 300 US dollars per month. Now you can convert that two to 300 
USD, US dollars to your home currency that you will know how much money per month for your rent. Now that's important because you need to prepare some money that you can have your education continuously and the living here in Taiwan. So far so good. Now, if you have any questions, please just press talk button. I will stop, I will try to answer your question as much as I can or as better as I can. Okay, it's about leaving uh, the rent, not the whole living cost. This is only the rent. Again, I'm saying that apartment has good apartment, bad apartment, lousy apartment. It all depends on who is the landlord. Around your school is older area. You need to either find a broker or asking school's helper to assist you. All right. Now, remember, need to be prepared before you sign a contract, your renting rental contract, okay, or your lease. Just be careful. Now, if you don't know the language, find someone to help you to read it. If you share with anybody, now also that's important. Share a room, share the rent. It's very common all over the world, not just you. When I was outside, out, I mean, out of state student, I did that too. Okay, is somebody been taking advantage, advantage of the other? Yes. What I'm trying to tell you here in this seminar is be careful. How to be careful? Verification. Verify the lease. Okay, verify who you signed the lease with. Look at the object. Look at inside of the apartment content. Okay, now if you don't know how, then before you sign anything, stay in a hotel or Airbnb or whatever you can find in the short term, please, before that you sign up a long term. Okay, lease or rental agreement with the landlord. All right, now need to know that. Okay. Now let's go to the next page. Weather. Again, uh, look at these two pictures. This is the what we have here. Typhoon. Oh, you say typhoon? It's like a tropical storm, hurricane or cyclone. Very scary. Very very scary. All right. Now National Weather Service will broadcast if. They announcing storm is coming or typhoon is coming. Normally, Taiwan is right here. Well, not normally, Taiwan is right here. Now, there's a great Pacific, uh, the Pacific Ocean. So typhoon usually come from the ocean side all the way toward here to Taiwan. Now, depending on the high atmosphere, low atmosphere, it will move from the east toward to the west. This is Japan. So if typhoon came over, now the National Weather Service announced the alert to um, the public, general public says no school, no working. Okay, it also depending on the city that you in, like Taipei city, if the mayor says, okay, due to typhoon something, something that there's no school tomorrow. That means no school, no working. Okay. Now, same as Taoyuan City, Taichung City, Tainan City, and Kaohsiung City. It depends on what city will be impacted. Also, now you do know in the Pacific area, Pacific Ocean area is called Typhoon. Now, in Atlantic area, which is on the other side of the world, they may be called a hurricane. Hurricane, typhoon, well, it's just different name, but it all storm. Okay, it's happening in different place. Uh, South Indian Ocean or Indian Ocean side is called the cyclone, or they call it a tropical storm. It doesn't matter. It's very scary. Don't go out if you are here in Taiwan. I mean, don't go out means that. Uh, the wind blows really hard, maybe a lot of sign, you know, the signage will get blow away and your umbrella, something. Okay, just stay home, be prepared, get some food in your apartment. Okay, that's called typhoon. Okay, 
tropical storm. Yeah, how often it happened? Um, well, you know, in this summer that we just experienced two typhoon, but some area in Taipei, in Taipei and Jilong area has the uh, called a weather break, I guess. But Taoyuan doesn't. So anyway, listen to the national weather broadcast. Rain shower. Also interesting. Uh, because Taiwan's is an island, so it get affected by the airstreams, hardware's airstream, the cold airstreams, so it creates a lot of showers. But if there's a lot of rain, well, it also have a dry season, wet season. So normally happen like in Taipei area that I'm familiar with are in the afternoon. So now sun, the sun is a scary too. It's very hot, remember? So I told you a while ago, you get the umbrella ready, you can get those folding umbrella put in your bag. So if rain comes, if the sun comes, and you can, especially some ladies, now, you know, you know put out your, pull up your umbrella, you know, just get, get rid of the rain or, you know, block the sun. So rain shower is one thing, okay, normally happen in the afternoon. Earthquakes. Now look at this area. This is the, uh, the gap which is from big old mainland all the way down to uh, Thailand, you know, the big old land here. So around the ocean side, of course, then dropped. So in from Japan to Taiwan to Philippines, earthquake zone. So don't panic if earthquake happens, you and I both that we don't have any power to stop it. Okay, mother earth act on her own. So when it happened, now, if you don't or you never have the uh, <clears throat> experience on earthquakes, don't panic. Find, go find a pillar. What's called pillar? <clears throat> okay, it's not like on my screen here. Okay, it's not like behind me, you know, the glass is all that. No. Pillar. Something that's solid against a wall, okay, a big old stick. Don't hide anything that, you know, just... Uh, that you you are not sure for some weak table you think under the table is is safe no okay when the ceiling falls it creates more danger or more pressure on top of you now a lot of people said what should I do the first time when earthquake happens open the door open the door high around the pillar okay just two steps you remember then after stop if any damage happen that you can't get out call out for help but that's the only thing that we can do. Shout out for help. So the three severe weathers, or a rain shower is not severe weather, but you know, two severe uh, mother nature acts, which is typhoon and earthquakes. Okay, these two. All right. Now money, currencies, and how you spending money. Let's take a look at money. <clears throat> Right here, thousand dollar bill. Thousand five hundred. These two hundred are very rare to use. Now the red one is one hundred dollar bill. Okay, it's very common to use. Fifty dollars coin. Okay. Now five, ten, oh, fifty, ten, five, and dollar. Is Taiwan still use currencies? Yes. All right, let's take a look at that. Taiwan money is called yuan. New Taiwan dollars, yuan. Uh, previously, I talked about that. It's about 32 to 1 right now. Okay, 30, 32 to 1 rate to United to, to the US currencies. Okay. Now, Taiwan's money in paper, which is very common that people do that. Now I'm gonna show you um, from the uh, the screen that you look at PowerPoint or you can see me. Now the five hundred dollar bill look like that. All right, so five hundred dollar bill. Okay, look like that, just like exactly what you see on the screen. And one hundred dollar bill, look like that. All right, look like that. So, now this one that you can put, um, you know, carry with you in a small wallet. You have, if you have. All right, just uh, keep some for for. Um, Taiwan does everywhere that you can use cash. Not a problem, but be careful. Be careful. 
don't bring too much money with you, all right? Because they do take a credit card everywhere. All right. Taiwan general living expenses such as the food and the transportation is not too high. Right here, that's something called yo-yo card. Okay, well, I'll tell you later what's yo-yo card. Now, um, compared with all the major cities, that our living cost is not high at all. Okay. Well, the average, for example, Coca-Cola, um, when I was living in the United States, that's yeah, about 60 cents. This in general, everybody, I just use that to uh, in compare with your own, uh, you can compare that with your country. Now, if you're from, I don't care, uh, I don't know where you're from, and I will, of course, I do care uh, where you're from. Now, you can see if a Coca costs 60 cents, now you can compare with that how much a Big Mac costs, all right? So it's not too high. Now, people use cash, credit card, debit card. Now, I, I will tell you, try not to use debit card because debit card is the money that directly draw with out of your account. So I would recommend you to use credit card. Uh, we do have a line pay, Apple Apple Pay is on your iPhone. If you use iPhone or any kind of uh, uh, paying software uh, or storage your credit card into your phone. Of course, um, I'll, I really recommend that you use some kind of plastic money, uh, just not showing all the cash that with you, especially students that you, you when you come to Taiwan, uh, you must think in that, you know what, How, do I really need to take a lot of, bring a lot of cash with me? Well, I tell you, if you have a bank account, which is that, which is that you can draw money, uh, use any kind of a plastics, do that, okay? Don't bring too much cash with you, all right? It doesn't mean that it's not safe in Taiwan, it's pretty safe in Taiwan, but of course, you never know, okay? All right, now, yo-yo card, what is yo-yo card? Schools in Taipei, Taiwan has, Taipei has all the places like convenience stores, uh, MRT, no, we don't call it subway here, we call it Jieyun. MRT. Okay, you can use this car. Of course, this is not free. You need to deposit some money in there. Okay, it will cost you about hundred Taiwan dollars to get a car made, which is very easy. Go buy in the convenience store. Uh, get the car. You, the most of merchants accept your car. All right, for MRT small purchase, just deposit. You know, maybe you can deposit a few hundred bucks, hundred dollars in there. Okay, now. Remember, the merchant, which is like a 7-Eleven, they will give you receipt. Now, the receipt in Taiwan called fa piao, look like that. Of course, depending on what merchant. The merchant, if 7-Eleven, they will show 7-Eleven on top. If a Burger King, they will show Burger King on top. The Chinese wording here is dian zi fa piao, means electronic receipt. It's required by Taiwan IRS, okay, Internal Revenue Service which is the Treasury Department asking most of merchants. However, small merchants may not need to give, provide you with this kind of a fa piao. They may not, but doesn't mean that they will cheat on taxes. You know, like a small merchants, the annual revenue or monthly revenue is less than X amount of money. And for them to issue this kind of uh, electronic receipt is not worth it. All right, they pay fixed amount of the taxes. So, uh, if you're asking for receipt, oh well, let's take back. If you go to the merchant or the store, they will automatically give you receipt like that, no problem. Now, if you do want receipt from a small merchant, like you go to the, the stand or go to the night market, they don't give you receipt. I just don't have receipt, okay? They may give you some kind of handwritten piece of paper, say, this is my receipt, okay then. All right, that's how you, how you deal with the merchant here. Now, remember, money, okay, don't bring too much with you. Now, coins, okay, if you buy something, 125 Taiwan dollars, you give them $200, they give you 75 cents back. So give you one of these, two of these, and one of these. Just take it. All right, you need to learn and how to calculate money because you are not going to be here for only a month. You're going to be here for, I guess, if you're a bachelor, 
four years. If you grad school, two years, and plus your internship or whatever. Okay. Now that's about the money. Any questions so far? So good. And in this seminar, I find out that you know I, I've been conducting a few some seminars that people are asking a lot of questions, but I guess you people are very nice to me and I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Now, if no questions, and then we're, I'm gonna continue. Now, if no question, no interactive, then you know, probably we finish this by about a little bit over an hour. Okay, go ahead. Somebody wanna ask me something? Uh, um... Um, yes, sir. But, uh, um, uh, for to click on the right hand and non hand question. <laughs> it's okay. You, you speak up, then I can hear you. It is just a false sign. Sorry. It's, uh, say that again. Uh, it's just a false sign I, I don't have patience uh, I'm sorry about that okay go ahead uh I, I don't have question now oh you don't have any question okay all right okay now um let's go on for the next questions okay that's fine Nim, you know? Nim? huh hi Joe sure. so with someone raise hands okay Let's see. Uh, do we need to keep the receipt or the receipt does have any use for us in the future? Okay, Mr. Lim, no, the receipt, it doesn't do uh, the buyer any good. Receipt doesn't prove a purchase. Unless somebody travel to Taiwan, they need to report back to his company or to some kind of prove a purchase, that receipt does mean something, all right? Now, also uh, for business travel, of course. But if you students, um, I don't see any any receiver do you any good unless you do your home bookkeeping. Uh, also, oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Okay, the uh, this receive is also like a lottery drawing. Okay, every two months, the the central bank will issue a a national award system that you know if your number right here let me show you qq7408 this number here if this number matches their drawing number you you get x, x amount of money i guess the smallest one like a 200 taiwan dollars it's kind of fun okay and anybody can cash it if you have the receipt other than that no i don't see anything that you need to keep the receipt. Oh, also, um, one more thing you might want. Uh, for example, you go to a department store, you buy something, you keep a receipt for 30 days. If the uh, guarantee exchange or some kind of warranty issue, keep that receipt. So, and with your merchandise, of course. Other than that, you know, go to 7-Eleven, you buy, you know, $20 with Coca-Cola. Uh, just keep the receipt for, I guess, a uh, lot of drawing them. Okay, I'm, I'm not so sure about uh, 电子发票. Okay, just receive drawing. All right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, any other questions? All right. Okay, now let's go on for the food, water, and the market. Now getting to the interesting part, okay? Now, before I get into the wordings, Costco. You pronounce Costco, Costco, it doesn't matter. Costco in Taiwan, yeah, very popular. Uh, that, but that's a membership place. So you need to have a membership to gain to buy. Um, the reason I say it right here, because this is a culture, uh, we call it American store or Western store. Anyway, a lot of people shops there, okay? Now, 7-Eleven, of course, all over the world, and right here is PX uh, Carry Four, uh, is French style of the supermarket, uh, PX Mart, small store. Let's see, in the supermarket and traditional market, 
food. If you cook, the groceries everywhere, all right? You can buy in the supermarket, a PX Mart. Uh, now, now the difference is is that uh, from from my experience, okay, you go to supermarket, you buy stuff. They're all individually packed. Now the vegetable like that, fruits like that, simple and easy. Okay, price are marked. Now, fun thing to do, or same as you know, uh, the superstore, you know, uh, supermarket, superstore, or convenience store. Now, all these kind of store has the individual packed uh, groceries uh, and the uh, fruits or whatever, you know, chips and drinks and junk food that you want to buy. Now, around your school, you might go to or you might find this kind of traditional market. Their traditional market is not like they're packed well. They have a vegetable stand, fish stand, uh, pork or beef stand, chicken stand. They, they have all these raw food over there. It's fun to shop, but they don't have like, you know, packed ready like that. They were asking you, oh, let's see, how much do you want? You know, they, they calculate it by weight um, and times the how much money per kilo or, or in Taiwan doesn't use kilo. They use a Taiwanese kilo, all right? It's about, let me see three Taiwanese kilo to one kg. Okay, but just, you know, talk to them. Uh, normally they don't bargain that much. You, you just uh, buy something you like, uh, but visualize, all right? Something that you know how to do. My point is that you need to uh, decide. And if you go to the traditional market, that you need to know what you're buying. All right, before you actually spending the money. Water. Don't drink the tap water. A lot of people say that even though national standard for the tap water is a drinkable, but in our, um, the way that we're living here in Taiwan, we just don't open up the tap, you know, put your glass on, and then you take drink tap water. Uh, in Taiwanese, they normally boil their water. You can buy those electric cattle, which is not, not expensive, you know, don't bring one in, in Taiwan. Those things are just very, very, very inexpensive. Get one in your dorm or in your apartment. Now you go to tap water, then you boil it, okay? So drink the boil water, it kills the germs. It's just uh, for your safety. And also I, I noticed something that um, people are here, um, like you go to any other country, you never know what your stomach will be uh, acting like. So do you need to really go to the uh, convenience store to go buy the bottle of water? Well, it's all up to you. Uh, to me, I think, you know, if you boil water and let it cool down that you drink, it's pretty, pretty okay. Now, do you really have to spend a lot of money by drinking water? It's not that expensive. You really want to buy a case of bottle, bottle water is fine. All right. All right. 7-Eleven convenience store. We call it Little 7 Xiao Qi. Okay. Why? I don't know. This is cute name to call. 7-Eleven um, is very interesting. Did you know this? That is one little, uh, they're all capitalized, right? E-L-E-V-E-N. Only N is a small word right here. That's, that's a nat their national logo. I have a, nothing to say about it. Just one day I noticed that kind of funny. Anyway, no special meaning, just, uh, you know, artistic, uh, art, artist designed it, I guess. Um, it's everywhere. So you don't need to worry about the food. If you say, oh my goodness, I go to somewhere out of Booney that we don't have, well, what happens if I don't have food? No, don't worry. A lot of 7-Eleven open 24 hours. I'm not so sure it's all 7-Eleven open 24 hours, but I guess a lot of 70 of open 24 hours. Um, you can you can buy anything you want. You won't get starved to death. Okay, I promise you in Taipei, you will not get starved to death. <laughs> but I would recommend you uh, environmental safety, uh, environmental protection is a you know, global acknowledgement. So I really want you to think about bring your uh, to go back. What do you mean to go back? You have a little folding bag that you know you can bring it with you. Uh, 
some ladies carry purse, it will be more convenient for them to get to carry extra bag. For guys, maybe not, but they do charge you for bag. Okay, how much bag? Maybe two Taiwan dollars. Very small amount of money, but it's for recycle purpose. So, me too. Uh, when I was in the United States, uh, every bag is free. Plastic bag, paper sack, they're all free. But <clears throat> when I come back, they charge me for bag. I was kind of like, oh my goodness, why do they charge me for bags? Government regulation, they need to charge you for bag. I uh, understand that, they do charge you for bag. Okay. Well, I'm in the full screen right now, so that's why I could not see somebody raise your hand. So if you have any questions, just let me know, okay? All right. Now, is Taiwanese food spicy? No. Taiwanese food is not always spicy. Taiwanese food is very delicious. We have all kinds of restaurants, okay? I love Japanese food. Well, I was in Tokyo. I compare the uh, the what they call the secret food or secret restaurant in the little alley. Taiwan has that too. You can explore that. I promise you, you will not get disappointed unless you go to somewhere. Okay, go ahead. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, is it hard to find uh, such a vegetarian or halal food nearest the campus or around the city? What kind of food? Halal food. Or vegetarian, halal food. I mean, oh, oh yeah, vegetarian I food. Yeah. Yeah, Very good. You. Yeah, okay, I tell you what. Okay, vegans. Uh, holistic uh, vegetarians. Okay, protein vegs. Yes. There are a lot of... Uh, a lot oh, sorry, of... Sir. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, sorry, I mean not only vegetarian, but also... Uh, halal because you know as a muslim we do not eat pork so yes. uh, i mean yeah is it uh, possible to find uh, the food around the campus around the campus uh, yeah. i'm not so i'm not too sure okay around the campus area but i tell you what muslims a uh, muslim they don't eat pork we, 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 I, I do know that okay um muslim food no I don't think it will be that easy to find, okay? But I will recommend you that uh, around the school, there is all veggie restaurants, that which is that you are not stepping into the mines. Meaning is that they are veggie. So, which is that they don't have any meat, even including the cooking oils. They don't use pork or any kind of an animal fats. They use the veggie oils, so um, they do have. A, 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 I don't. I'm not gonna say a lot. They do have some, okay, uh, different veggie restaurants. But for Muslim food, you know what? Good question. I will dig into it and see. Now, when you go to school, you might asking uh, the student counselor to 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 help yeah, you. Joe. Out. Joe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe when they come in, they can ask uh, seniors. They uh -huh. can show them around how to find a. Uh, uh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Understand. Okay. The professor just told me that you know what, when you come to school, you can actually really asking for your seniors. They, they um from your country. They will show you around. And don't worry. Don't panic because. If you don't eat pork, nobody gonna force you to, and you just you know buy some veggie foods. It should be it should be pretty safe. Would that be okay with you? Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah. Also, we are uh, in the third academic building. We have a uh, Muslims prayer room over there, so you don't have to worry about. Okay. Yes. Thank you for information. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So the prayer service, okay, is in the school too, right? So you can actually feel free to use it, all right? That's good to know. Okay, Joe, can we yes. take a five minutes break? Sure.
Okay, you want to take a break now? Uh, I was thinking about taking breaks on the. Uh, okay, that's fine. All right. Um, Andrew. Hi. How about let's uh, give me about another five minutes, then uh, we take a break. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah because it's uh, it's coming to the um, uh, my last page here. You finish your shopping. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Finish my shopping. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Very good. Shopping. Uh, shopping mall in the nightlife. Okay. I know. Besides your study, that you know, still we still have to have our uh, entertainment life, right? The major department store like Sogo, like Far Eastern. Okay, they have pretty fancy stuff inside. All right, and uh, outlet mall. Okay, does have outlet mall like United States. Okay, the outlet mall. I'm not sure you have you all been to United States. Anyway, um, outlet mall is very getting it's growing, getting popular now. So, but you know what? It's kind of expensive, for sure. Okay, to students now. Um, if you have a lot of money, it's a different story, okay? I'm, my life, um, I'll say that um, it's fun to go to like a night market, you know, all kinds of food, stuff like that for you to ex experience. I will share, share with you more on the food later, okay? Bars and clubs, you know, it, a lot of, it has some bars, but you know, I'm not going to recommend you to go because, well, you can experience it, but don't stick, it, stick to it, all right? Uh, remember your student they don't get into any kind of troubles it is safe to go out at night it's purely safe to go out at night uh, understand it's in taipei city we have cameras everywhere we have a police force everywhere so it's pretty safe however if your girls go out now after midnight 12 o'clock one o'clock walking on the major street not a problem but you still have to avoid the, you know, the alleys. I'm not saying the alleys is very dangerous, but think about it. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. So maybe two of you walk out together. If you want to do something, just as just a dark alley, but it's lighting everywhere. Okay. So maybe you can go out in the pair. So it'd be pretty good. Okay. All right. Now, uh, we we'll want to take a break. And this is some kind of food I'm going to show you when we come back. How about that? Okay, now just look at my PowerPoint here. We have all this food. I will review it later. Okay, now I'm hungry. I'll well, take that's not I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. Let's take a five minutes or 10 minutes break. Let's return. Hey, Andrew, shall we return 11 o'clock? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Okay, let's take a uh, eight minutes break. Then we come back at 11 o'clock. Okay, thank you. Let's say a few Indonesia. In we don't really, really have an Indonesian restaurant in campus, but also we have a school cafeteria on the campus. So lots, lots of cuisine you can choose, and also in outside of campus. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, I will let uh, Joe to share the the file. Later on, we'll put on the website. Can yeah, I, I have to ask in Joe to agree. Okay. So does anyone knows uh, how about Taipei Tech?
what price of the yeah yeah okay slides will be shared later okay no problem thank you anna Oh, yes, our research programs. Uh, maybe you can check our website of Taipei Tech. Yeah, because uh, this uh, today's lecture just Tell you a broth of uh, Taiwan's culture, environment. Yeah, that's it. Okay, if you want to uh, more to know more about research programs, maybe you should check on the website of Taipei Tech. Okay.
Okay, everyone, I'm back. All right, let's get into the next section. Before we go back to next section, I just realized I skipped the page, you know, while the uh, previous section. Now, let's uh, go back to this page here that we call the Taipei City, where school is located and where you're going to spend most of your time in Taiwan, the major city, the capital called Taipei. Taiwan, Taipei, okay? This Taipei map, okay, look like that. You have a Google service on your phone. You can bring Taiwan. You feel free to use it. Right here, Taipei is about 2.5 million people lives in this little, little place, okay? Now this is a metro line. Now your school is around here. So you're gonna go everywhere by metro, orange line, red line, or you know, brown line. So it gets you everywhere. Remember previously we talked about yo-yo car. You might use yo-yo car to ride on the MRT. Now, this all, most of them are underground. Some are above ground, which is like a, a bridge, a tracks. Anyhow, on the surface, taxi and buses are very, very convenient, okay? So, but a lot of people using MRT. That's one thing good about Taipei. Now, you might question me about, hey, Joe, what about Kilong City, Taoyuan City? None of those cities has Taipei MRT this complex. Now, is it complicated? No, it's not complicated. It's not complicated at all, okay? Now, you want to go somewhere, there are English everywhere, okay? Now, just remember MRT. You use MRT, you can use buses. Also, on your phone, that is a tracking system for MRT and for buses. Okay, just want to uh, bring, so I just realized that one page I somehow skipped, it, but it's okay. Now I made it up here for you, okay? Now let's go to the, um, all the money we're talking about, now food we're talking about, again to more food, okay, in the night market. Now I'll talk about shopping a while ago. Now, um, Taipei has a lot of night markets. It's kind of fun, okay? They they sell everything, like you know, from little stand of food to uh, clothing, okay? And some fun, fun place. All right, now I'm gonna share with you the top 12 of popular traditional food uh, and drinks in Taiwan. Now, this is not my uh, choice, okay? It's, you know, Google or some travelers, they did the selections, tell you different kind of stuff. Uh, Taiwan very famous. Now it's not just Taiwan famous, it's famous in the world now, right now. It's called a pearl milk tea. It in Chinese pronounced zhen zhu nai cha. It sells almost everywhere, okay? You might enjoy it. The first day you arrive, you want to try zhen zhu nai cha. Okay, I recommend it, you try that. Now, stinky tofu, it pronounced chou tofu. Now, chou tofu. Now, if you say it right here, like in the spelling from the Google translation service, it, it, it kind of like sounds like funny. Chou tofu in Mandarin or Chinese, pronounced chou tofu. Okay, sound like that, chou tofu. Zhen zhu nai cha. Okay. Um, the world most uh, one of the uh, famous actor called Tom Cruise, that when he arrived in Taiwan promoting his movie, he loved to eat Xiao Long Bao, which means small steam dumplings, okay? In Ding Tai Fung. That is the Xiao Long Bao looks like. Or well, it has pork in there. Most you don't you don't need to eat this, okay? Same thing as the uh, Lu Rou Fan right here. Those are, have, you know, around the school, they're pretty popular. Okay, um, Odeng or tempura. Tempura, uh, they have similar things in Japan. Okay, 
tempura, guangdong zhu, those kind of food that uh, we call the small food, xiao chi, okay, or gua bao, okay, um, Chinese hamburger. People are kind of laughing about it. Oh, you have Chinese hamburger? Yeah, we do. And it looks just like that, okay? Um, oyster omelet. Oyster, whatever call the words, is Italian, okay? Personalis, okay? Or army song, I guess it's in Taiwanese. If you are not sure um, some food that you can eat or you can eat, or either your religion, your family matters, or whatever, this is some recommendation for you to try. But if you're not and not sure, don't eat it. Okay. And it's just for fun. Okay. Sausage, of course. Um, I recommend that it's called, you know, uh, Binker or Binker Flowers. Okay. It's pretty good. I think this is nothing to do with the uh, either vegetarian or not. It's pretty, it's a sweet. It has a you know, sweet or, or salty. You can eat bo both ways, but a lot of Taiwanese to eat sweet. Okay, that's a tofu pudding. You can see the word right here. Okay. Uh, Nyoro mian, which is beef noodles. Very popular here. People love it. Okay. Uh, scallion pancake is also very popular. We'll talk about that. I'm getting hungry. Anyway, that was the, you know, before the break I was planning to do. Okay, now that was a 10 minutes break. That's the uh, uh, chicken breast, fried chicken breast. Okay. All right. Now they get into the second section here, culture of Taiwan. Now, my friends, if you are here already in Taiwan, you must know that we are very friendly here. If you haven't come in yet, which you join this seminar, that you are in India, in Indonesia, in United States, anywhere in the world, in Japan, Korea, I tell you what, come on over. We are super friendly here. I, I guarantee you, we very, very friendly. Um, if you say hi, they will reply. Now, of course. And I said, I guarantee you, everybody is so friendly. There's one or two are not that friendly. They have because it doesn't mean they have anything against you. They might afraid of it. They cannot communicate with you. That's the deal. If they shy, don't force them. You know, I, I need to talk to you. Don't need to do that. Okay. If they will, will apply, reply back to you, very good. Smile, say hello, ask them questions if you want to. Okay. I'm gonna share you how to say something. Okay, I, I spelled it right here. Ni hao ma, it means greeting, how are you? Okay, well, if you speak in English, they say, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Fine. In, in Chinese or Mandarin, you pronounce ni hao ma, ni hao ma. Don't do the other way around, okay? Need to be ni hao ma. Don't do ma ni hao means that ask you how your mother doing, okay? <laughs> kind of laughing about that, which is a little joke. Anyway, ni hao ma, and what are they gonna say? If they ask you ni hao ma, then you're gonna reply, hen hao, xie xie, hen hao, xie xie, hen hao, xie xie, hen hao. Now, of course, I try my best to, to spell that in correct way, but still, if I speak right, uh, speak truly, which is called hen hao. Xie xie. You don't have to really pronounce through your nose. Okay? People ask you, ni hao ma? You say, hen hao, xie xie. If you meet somebody, say, ni hao ma? They'll reply, I'm good. Okay, very well. Uh, 我很好. 我 means me, my, 我, 我, 我. Okay, 我, ni means you. This is me, 我. Okay? Now, let's see. Okay, very good. Go to the next page here. Uh, navigating Taiwan culture. Again, that's the first thing that pop out in the States Night Market, of course. Um, you can experience something here. A tea. Oh, you can drink a lot of tea in Taiwan. Taiwan's tea are world famous, okay? Uh, you say about organic tea or non-organic tea, I can tell you what. Taiwanese tea are the world's best tea ever. Now, uh, 
tea bags, if you go to 7-Eleven or some kind of convenience store, you buy those Lipton teas, the imported teas, that's not what I'm recommending it. You go to tea shops, okay, to buy those Taiwanese teas are really good. Uh, these little words, you read it. Like what Andrew just say that we can, we will put my PowerPoint on your website. You can actually study it later, okay? Okay, Chinese calligraphies. Now this pen brush writing, you know, uh, Japanese or Korean has a similar but the originally uh, in China, which is you know a long time ago, this is a very beautiful handwriting. You can also learn that. Okay, when you go back to your country, you can buy a little you know pen brush and black ink. Go back and you can write it. You know, the people take it like that. They take a pen brush like that and they start writing it. Okay, they write on the paper. The um, silk paper looks like that. It's really really cool. Okay, learn something new. I recommend you to do that. Okay, history part of it. You are here. Why don't you, besides study, get your diploma, get your degree, learn something about Taiwan history. If you're here four years, if you're two years, I really, really, okay, to go. Oh, right, I see somebody asking me where is the best night market. Taipei has pretty good night markets. Okay, you can ask your seniors around your school. They are they are Ningxia Ye Shi. They 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 got a lot. Okay, Taiwan has uh, Taipei has two or three pretty good night market that you can go. Okay, if I show you right now, you still have to you know remember it anyway. Okay, go look on the map. Type out night market. Yeah, they will show you. Okay. Now the beauty of Taiwan. Besides Taipei, the major city, when you go out, Taiwan has very, very beautiful countryside. Okay, Taruku National Park and Yushan, uh, the Jay Mountain, the toppest Jay Mountain, the toppest, the peak of Taiwan is Jay Mountain. How high it is? 3,998 meters, I, if I'm not remembering wrong, okay? It's a very high mountain, but into that mountain need to apply for permits. But all the national parks, just go visit. Very, very beautiful, okay? National parks. Um, for when you travel from Taipei down to south, or you know, actually go to north first, you will see the ocean side, harbor, then go to Taoyuan, go to Xinchu. You just follow the, the you got to do the planning before you go out. Remember, you need to plan. Going to mountains is not like what you see, okay? Just walk into National Park and walk out. No, it's not that easy, okay? You got to be prepared. Hiking around the Taipei, the little hills, fine. But I'm talking about you go to the high mountains, okay? Out of Boonie area. Na, uh, natural uh, natural park or national national park, those places you need to be prepared for. Hot springs, enjoy as much hot springs as you want it, okay? Now remember, now you go to hot springs in, in Beitou or you go to somewhere, remember, follow the instructions, follow their instructions. Now the wild hot springs is not like you can jump in because you, that's a dangerous. Most of Taiwan hospitals are regulated and protected, protected by the business business person or merchants. Uh, pay for, go enjoy it. When we talk about the hospital uh, right here in the picture here, just for your sizing, you can really jump in. Um, but some hospitals like really you want to take a bath, that kind of in the hotels. Those are cool. Those are fine. Uh, some are expensive. Just watch for the budget. Okay. But hot spring is hot spring everywhere? No. 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 Taiwan is not like uh, you go to Japan, they, they, they go to those uh, uh, tours. They, they they give you hotel to hotel. They all hot springs. No, Taiwan is not like that. Okay. Taiwan has two different kinds of hot springs. One is called a wild hot springs that um, uh, you just go sightseeing. You can't really just dip yourself in. Uh, the other hot spring is like hotels or scenery hot springs that they actually draw water, so draw the hot spring into the hotel room. 
Okay, or they do have a hot spring park, but it's just for dipping your feet only. Now beaches, cool, I tell you, I love beaches. A lot of beaches around Taiwan, harbors, beaches, because remember Taiwan is on the island. So is that all beautiful like that in the picture? No, okay. <laughs> Some beaches are just for commercial use. Okay, so scenery areas. You know, when you come to Taiwan, uh, Google it, find out what beaches you want to go. Uh, the most famous that a lot of people to go is very down to south, south, south. They're all the way down to south of Taiwan called Kenting. Uh, north part is called Bai Sa Wan. Okay, Bai Sa Bay. Those two places are very famous. And you say a lot of people, yeah. Summertime, yes, a lot of people. Okay, how is it really crowded? depending on the weekend or weekdays, okay? But uh, is that place beautiful like this? Definitely, okay? Xiao Liu Chou is a place really pretty. It's a little remote island outside of Kaohsiung, Zuo Yi. It's a very uh, small island, okay? Some, some people call it Turtle Island. Uh, you need to, need to go there by boat, by ferries, okay? So it's a really, really beautiful place. Now, the law in Taiwan, I'm getting some a little bit serious. Okay, we we'll talk about the food, we we'll talk about scenery, the law in Taiwan. Now look at that picture. Left hand side here, yellow taxi, down the bridge, the above here, two pillars shows that there's a highway on top. Now what it is? Motorcycles, mopeds, everywhere. Traffic, traffic hours are everywhere, okay? Be careful. Okay, there's police right here. You, there's, you, there's, this kind of place, now you're going to walk, okay? Uh, students or, you know, you just come over here. I will not recommend you to learn how to ride how to ride that. You need a driver's license to do that, okay? Uh, walking across street pedestrians, walking on the uh, uh, on the street, be real careful. Taiwan just have a new new law right now. The, uh, the driver will yield while you're crossing, but still you have to crossing the traffic lights or you only watch for the traffic light when you go to the intersection. The law in Taiwan, don't drink and drive. Even Taiwan beer is also one of the best in the world. Okay, you can try, you can try it, enjoy it. Taiwan beer is really good. Now, riding motorcycle or uh, riding a U-bike, okay, along the road, I tell you what, you need to follow all the traffic laws. Okay, police will be there watching you. Remember, Taiwan, in, especially in Taipei, there are cameras everywhere. Traffic cameras everywhere. Don't drink and drive. It's very serious. Taiwan is the right side of the driving country. Okay, red light means red. Don't run the red light. Okay, remember, I type right here. There are traffic and security cameras everywhere you will get fined okay pretty expensive pretty expensive how expensive depending on what it is okay depending on the violations be aware motorcycles are too fast and too many okay don't get injury okay now just watch when you're across street intersection watch the left watch the right then you go uh, of course green lights all right you bikes are very convenient you need to pay for and return um you use your, your car okay that's pretty pretty easy to use okay don't drink and drive okay one more time i give you the yellow right here do not use a drug or any kind of marijuana okay hiding hiding attempt to use or selling you will you go to jail okay i know you guys are students but some medicines that you you have including some kind of a uh stating um medicines you okay, bring to the country prescriptions bring your prescription with you okay if you have any condition that you want to you want to bring something bring doctor's prescription with you so you will you will get in a lot of less trouble okay now remember don't buy drugs don't use drugs doesn't matter where you go it's very very serious one more time very serious okay careful on that okay uh some areas that is smoking allowed now smoking on the street um i tell you i'm not recommended don't toss the cigarettes 
don't toss the cigarette butts, you will get fined. Okay. Now, who will charge police? Will police police stop you? Give you a ticket? Yes, they will. All right. So be careful. Okay. That's the law in Taiwan for the drink and drive. Now, racism, discrimination, and love relationship. <clears throat> Young people. Um, Joe here is a little bit. Uh, I'm not senior citizen. Yeah, I don't want to be that old. Okay. But I still want to tell you something. Um, love is love. Okay. Now, we don't have a racist issue here. We don't care about one nationality. We don't care about your color skin, skin colors. We don't, we don't really, really uh, racist around here. But something that you need to know, the men and equal, men and women are equal here. Uh, as gentlemen, Taiwanese are very, the men are very gentle. Uh, I speaking for myself, I speaking for all these Taiwan mature men. Um, we are very polite to the ladies. It's a polite, not overdue. It just act natural, okay? We don't have a you know female, male racism issue here. We just respect each other, okay? Now, if you respect them, they respect you. Shouldn't be any problems. Now, love, okay? Love, it's mutual, it's two-way traffic. Now you say, you know, is there any one night stand anywhere? I tell you what, don't dream about it. Don't think about it because it's not act as, uh, uh, you know, normal behavior. So um, the relationship that you build up here, if you find somebody you really love, you really want to day with, fine. Okay. But just try not to hurt anybody and don't get hurt too. All right. Foreign romantic is based on the love, not one night stand. OK, I just want to tell you something like that. Still, ladies, be careful. Guys, also be careful. OK, Taiwanese boys and girls are mostly very conservative. I say very conservative in the behavior. Maybe if they talk a while, maybe. When it comes to do something, they're conservative. Holding hands, hugging each other, gen gentleman's contact, fine. Again, I repeat one more time. Gentleman's contact, fine. Little patting, little hugging, if they're willing to do that. But don't do overboard, okay? Because it's going to involve the next section we're talking about. It's called sexual harassment law. Taiwan has three sexual harass harassment laws here. How they define that? You're probably curious, you know what? I'm just nice, you know, in my country, I can do the hugging, no problem. But what happens if the other party doesn't want you to hug him or hug her? Okay. The school has a primary, well, the law enforcement here or legislation specially making a school regulation, prevention, handling sexual assault sexual harassment or sexual bullies on campus. Taiwan government has specially making this law for school. Why? They just want to protect you. They want to protect females. They will protect the you know, young males. Don't get hurt. Don't involve with any kind of bullies. Now they not on, only uh, we call it sexual bullies any kind of bullies in school, okay? So be careful who you're dealing with and how you act yourself. Don't harass people. Now, if you've been harassed, what are you gonna do? Of course, tell the police, tell the school, okay? Now, we don't want that thing to happen, but don't hurt anybody and don't get hurt. All right, I want to tell you, be aware, no joke, okay? Now, how to define, remember? Well, it's really hard to say, you know, I'm a business person, I, I'm working in the foundation, we, we, we actually, you know, um, advertising love or we, we want to tell people something to do with you know, from the inside of your heart. But again, same thing. It's make the other party feel uncomfortable. You might come in the crime. Now talking about on MRT, if that's very crowded, 
Now, ladies, be careful. You know, you got to know how to protect yourself. But you find somebody touch you, speak out. Okay, so that is a serious crime. Okay, now be careful. Be careful. One more time. There's two laws here that you need to be careful on. One, don't drink and drive. Second, don't commit any sexual harassment. Okay, I'm not here speaking for school. I'm speaking, for, speaking as your friend and really tell you, okay, I've been involved in, the, in to, to handle a lot of these sexual harassment arguments. Students, please remember, it's not what you want to get into it. Okay, both of them. Okay, drinking and driving and sexual harassment. That's something you don't want. Okay, it will be, it will be on the record, seriously. All right, student service, again, like, you know, uh, professors and the schools help her to tell you, you have any questions, okay, go ask them. They will tell you, okay, medical assistance, language support, campus life. Now, here's yellow, all details will provide to you on the your orientation. This, my seminar is not orientation, okay? The, my information will provide you the basic living in Taiwan, something you need to be aware, okay, something that you can enjoy, but the student orientation is on September the 8th, okay, remember, attend, okay, now, what I know, which is school life is very fun to me, they have a lot of clubs they can enjoy, they can join in, enjoy it, now remember, you need to be mingling with people, now, you need to learn language, so, what I'm going to tell you is something really fun, right? If I go to United States and I'm Chinese or Mandarin speaking person, then I go to the United States, I learn, then learn, learn what? I learn how to speak in English. So I'm a dual language person. Now add it to my resume. Are you good in English? Yeah, sure. I'm, I am. Now, if your resume has three languages, I spoke Indian. I also speak English. Cool. I speak Chinese Mandarin, oh my goodness. Think about the job market. Think about the future. Think about yourself. You, you, you're not here for free. You pay for it. Why don't you learn it? You learn the culture, you learn the language, you learn everything now you need to know about time in the next four, two to four years. My friend, really, it's good on your resume. Trust me, okay? Do you really need uh, we call the uh, uh, some kind of certificates. I'm a level one in Taiwanese, a level two in Chinese. I tell you what, in your heart, it's very important. Okay, you do have some kind of you know Chinese exam that you can take level one. It's good. I'm not saying you don't need to. I'm saying that you can learn that language is reflecting to how much you know about that culture. Now, in the future, in next five to 10 years that you go back to your country, that you're working, now what happens if you deal with a Taiwanese business person? What are you gonna do? 我讲中文, I speak Chinese. They will be so impressed. 我讲中文, 我会讲中文, I know how to speak in Mandarin. You can communicate with me in your, in your language. I was in Taipei for four, six years. Okay, I went to Beikerta. Does that sound cool? If that would, if you apply uh, the company that I, I'm involved with or I'm working with, if I see you, I will say, oh, okay, great. Let's say something in our language. So my friend, something like that, really cool. You need to learn that. Don't waste your time. Even though you go out with your friends, that's cool. You can do that. Okay? Learn as much as you can. I really, as Joe, 50 ish something person, okay, been working for almost 30, 40 years, I tell you, it's something very good. Okay? All right. Emergency contact. Well, in Taiwan, you don't call 911, you call 119. Something happening to medical, you call 911. Fire, you call 911. Police, you call 110. Take up your phone, any phone call. They will be at your service. Okay? 
Now, that two numbers, remember it. Any emergency, call them, they will help you. Now remember, it's not that big. I mean, the area is not that big, okay? From where you called in, the response time, maybe within three minutes. It's really, really fast response, okay? Now, if you use something that you don't know, that you don't know how to, how to dial a number, you don't have your cell phone with you, tell the other party, party okay? Say something, okay? Call 911, just say tell, call 911. Tell them call 911, they understand you. Call 110. Okay, call 119, sorry, 911. Call 119, call 110. Sorry, I've been there too long, I said 911. Okay, I take it back. Call the police, call the ambulance. If you they afraid about, you know, what you're talking about, just say, call 119, they will call for you, okay? Now, travel. Now, if you're not here yet, before you come in, you need to prepare something, okay? Now look at the picture. Check your passport. Okay, check your passport. All right. I said do one at a time. Learn about your destination, how much it's gonna cost you. I told you about you know six to nine hundred dollars USD for rent. And I'm sorry, six to nine thousand Taiwanese, two to three hundred dollars a month for the rent. Now, how much it will cost you? Learn about that, okay? Now, do a budget. How long you'll be here? Okay, do you have enough money? All right, think about it. Okay, do a planning. Uh, I'll use my, my recommendation here. Your travel documents, your student visa, is that approved? Is everything okay before you actually go to the airport, okay? that say you require medical reports, think about it, okay? My job here is to show you, before you come prepared, get to know Taiwan, get to know the place that you're gonna be spending a few years here, okay? Now, before you actually even step to the airport, you need to do something. Your dormitories, are you ready? You know where you're staying, okay? Your data plan, when you come to Taiwan, that you say, oh, okay, somebody's gonna pick me up, what are you gonna do? Or you say you want to drive the bus from the airport to your dormitory or to your to your apartment or even to the school. Okay, you need phone data plan. You know, when I go out of the country, I'll just use a little now it's called the eSIM, something called the eSIM card. Um just get a short um a few days or something, then you know, get get enough time for you to get settled down here. Okay, make sure you get short term cell phone data plan. Understand that? Book your fly. Make sure your fly schedule and you know getting short. Okay. So something like that. You need to be be really, really um get ready for it. Something like that. Transportation, bus from the airport to your school or dormitories. Do you know? You already book it or not? Okay, how to get there? From the taxi. Of course, the last last thing to do is you know riding a taxi, but do you have you know Taiwan currencies? Did the taxi taxi take a take a visa card? Okay, need to plan before you actually do that. Packing, travel light. I still recommend you travel light. The previous in, in the previous hour, I said Taiwan's clothing is not that expensive. You can buy some clothing here to reduce your um, uh, your packing. Um, you, can, you might need to bring something else important to you, okay? Okay, personal belongings. Like it's just just uh, following the airport regulations, okay? Don't bring something strange, okay? Now, this one in yellow to you. Uh, I travel a lot. Something that in common all over the world, no meat or seeds, even some kind of seasonings, okay? Uh, my experience is that some people think that, you know, the dry meat or beef jerky or something that is already dried, you already, already kill all the germs, why I cannot bring it? Don't argue with that. That's just custom. The, the over the world right now just tell you not to bring any raw food, any meat or any seeds. Or you say something, the ingredient, whether ingredient be okay? No, some ingredient are not okay. I don't, I'm not, I can't, I, I can't just tell you 
what kind of ingredients you know something that people are using for seasonings the seasoning that custom doesn't know what it is it, it, it will it'll get you in some kind of trouble so don't bring any strange what well, you say this is my mother laying this you know my mom my grandma making it for me okay i just tell you if you don't want if you want to get any trouble bring it but i really really strong uh, strongly recommend to you you don't need to bring it don't bring it okay huh Anything illegal, like a drug or without prescriptions, I told you that already. Be careful, huh? okay? Bring enough cash or credit card, or credit card, not a lot of credit card. Bring in enough cash or credit card for emergencies. Okay, that's my recommendation for you for travel pre preparation one. Now, that, that previously you're talking about the international tra traveling before you come to Taiwan. Now, inside of Taiwan, what are you gonna do inside of Taiwan? Just get some ID with you. That's all. Anywhere you go, get ID. I go everywhere with my ID, my driver's license, my student ID. If I, I'm still a student, I have my uh, health card, you know, national health card, national health insurance card. Okay. I bring some ID with the pictures. ID means they can identify yourself. Don't take a credit card. Tell them that, you know what? I have a credit card. The behind the credit card is my, my phone. That's not ID. It's a credit card. But ID means national ID, like a passport, student ID, uh, national health card, something like that, okay? Taiwan is a free country. You can go anywhere you want, except, of course, military base. We know, we know that, okay? So feel free to go anywhere you want. Not a problem at all. Okay, now, remember I said, when you're passports do ID. well you know what i tell you what i will not recommending you to bring your to take your passport everywhere you go because you're gonna be here for a long time uh student life here you know what so just student id or health insurance card will be fine not, not people will not check your id unless something something happened okay or some uh government agencies that you you go apply something they will ask for your ID, okay? All right, bring enough cash, credit card for emergency. I told you that a while ago, same thing as your international travel. Domestic travel also need to need, need that. Okay, all right, download useful apps such as Google Translation and Google Map. Okay, uh, I would be surprised um, people don't have those two applications. Now, Google Translation is interesting. Um, if you do have communication problems, that your phone, take it out, type in your language or something, and show that to the other party. Hey, help me out. Okay? Now, they will help you. Okay, pretty much sure anybody that you show that to, they will help you. Okay? All right. Do not go into mountains, creeks, or swimming alone. Now, be careful. Again, like previously, I'm talking about hot springs. There's some places that you are not familiar with the water. It looks calm, but it's whirlpool down there. So don't go in there. Even the two or three of you, they say, okay, we go to the beach. Then we just hang out there. So two of them standing on the, on the beach, and then you go into the ocean, and then you want to go swim. Now, remember, don't do that. Don't go to any, anywhere without lifeguards. Okay, be careful. Mountains, the same thing. You go to a hiking, you say you bring your little tent that you want to do the uh, overnight camping. Need to be prepared because Taiwan weather in the mountain are so unpredictable. It will suddenly become a heavy rain shower. You get cold. You say, no, 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 no. We are, we are 40 degrees out here. You never know what's inside the mountain. Okay? So, I, in, in this class, I say be careful a lot because really need to be, all right? Keep your phone charged at all time. You know, you say, is Taiwan uh, cell phone coverage, cell, cell phone tower coverage everywhere? Yes, it is covered everywhere. Unfortunately, we still have a major phone, cell phone company like Zhonghua Dianxin like one star or something like that. Okay, far east. Some area may not have their tower. 
So you say everywhere cover everywhere covers, yes. But your plan service is that cover is no guarantee. Okay, so charge your phone. Charge your phone. A charge your phone is something to do with the, the cell phone coverage. Of course not, but you still have a power that when you receive the tower, that you will get reception, that you will you can get help. Okay. Now, that's a travel inside of a Taiwan. Number three, commute. Um, beginning of this section, I said I forgot about show show you in Taipei. Well, now now it's a good chance again. Uh, MRT. Look at the map, Google it, Taipei MRT, they will show you this page here, actually will show you both the English and Chinese, or, or Mandarin, all right? It will show you. Bus station looks like that. On top of here, our LED billboard, it will show you the next bus coming in time. They also show you where his bus is. Now that's the driver license. I don't, I'm not sure you can um, actually get it, but if you go, uh, if you really want to apply, try it. Now, this is your bike. Look just like that. Okay, you can use your yo car, you know, apply it, you know, download the app. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do this here. Um, you got to experience it yourself. It's kind of fun. Okay, traffic light, traffic like that. Okay, so people are how they ride you, ride the bike. They don't, they don't ride on the street. They normally ride on the sidewalk here. They do have a sidewalk for bike. Taxi, look like that. Uh, you, is that Uber? Definitely Uber. Okay, you can call Uber. You download the app, pay by credit card. So the Uber is fine. Okay, motorcycles. I will not recommend you to ride motorcycles. Even though myself, I'm scared to ride motorcycles. First reason is uh, rain, slippery. Second reason is that too many. Okay, scary. The third is that it's pretty small and fast. It's not like you go out some country that you can ride a Harley Davidson to be really cool wear a mask. Well, they do have that, okay? They do have those here, but uh, we talk about general motorcycle driving. Um, again, we say we driving the on the right hand driving. The the driver seat is on the left side, so you're driving. If you know how to drive, okay, you can do that. Okay. Well, you know, we say yo-yo car, easy car is the same thing. You can, you can use your car for all that. Walking, walking is very safe. Walking is fine. But again, I'm saying that walking on the sidewalk, don't walk on the driveway. Okay. Remember I say MRT, some of the most MRT stations are underground, but it doesn't mean that the, the traveling uh, are always on the ground, like this one is on top. Okay, some area are, are on the bridge. All right, pretty cool, huh? Traveling in Taipei. All right, stay safe. Is that crime everywhere? Definitely. Your apartment, lock your apartment while you go out, for sure. You have to, you, you never know what's happening. Is there burglary from the outside of apartment people, the neighbors, or something like a burglary, burglary? You never know. Sometimes you get be careful on your next door roommates, um, anybody. Okay, so lock your apartment. Okay, watch your wallet or purse, your ID. Identity theft is very serious. You know what? It is something that either police police can do, or something that school teacher can help you. No, I would recommend you. Anybody asking or copy your ID, your passport, don't give it to them, okay? Unless you really go out to the bank, you're at the counter, you tell, you tell the teller you want to open the bank account. They, they will ask for your ID. Those official place, no problem. Online, I will not recommend it. I will tell you totally don't. Don't transfer. It's previously experienced that some student comes to Taiwan and somebody are very nice. Let me help you with that. The very next hour, he or she lose everything. Every money that he brought or she brought. Okay. Something like that. ID 
very, identity theft, very, very, very serious. Don't show anybody that you don't know who he is. Okay? Now, if you lost your ID, lost your credit card, go to the police department right away. Report it. Okay? Now, don't transfer any money to anyone that you don't know. It's now, wait a minute. Let's take it back here. If they telephone you, they say, hey, love, Mr. Fun, I, uh, uh, I'm the police department, I'm something, something, somebody, that you owe some kind of traffic, uh, I have your ID here. Even though they got your ID number, they ask you for uh, the fines, the pay for violation of uh, uh, crossing over, okay? Now, something like that is a scam. Police department will never ask you anything or the jurisdiction department will never ask you to wire transfer any money over the phone, okay? Never, ever. Only people ask for you to transfer money over the phone is crime. Now, now you say, well, wait, 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 you know what? My classmate, uh, she uh, she wants to, uh, she helped me to buy something. I'm going to uh, take the money back to him, you know, line pay back to, to her. Well, that's between you two. You know her, she knows you, you know him, she know, he knows you. Well, that is something that's strange. We're talking about strange, stranger things happening. Be careful. Don't transfer money to anyone that you don't know. Now, if you say you transfer someone money to someone you do know, okay, verify it. Verify before you transfer it, okay? Verify the security method of transferring the money. Is any digital uh, signature, okay? Anyway, uh, I can show. I cannot show you everything how to do the anti fraud, but just remember, don't transfer anybody anybody you don't know, okay? Unless you're at the official place, like you know, school campus, you pay for your tuition, whatever that is, okay? Online gaming. I know you won't do that, okay? And be careful with scams, okay? Now. Don't do online gaming. Okay, you don't have time to do that. All right, your time is more precious time to do your study. Okay, finding a new friends. Okay, now imagination friend is now is friend now is the AI technology that you guys probably all know. AI can pretend that he 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 or she a person. Okay, cyber world is not real. Okay, uh, young people. Now, you're much younger than I, then I will tell you one thing I, I know in my lifetime, okay? Don't do anything that you can't see. All right, cyber world is not real. That's the only thing I can tell you, all right? Okay, do you feel lonely or depressed under a lot of pressure that a study or uh, your relationship? Okay, talk to your friends, talk to your classmates, talk to your teacher, okay, call your family. Uh, right now, WhatsApp, Line, any kind of communication, APP uh, app that you can use, okay? You're not alone. Don't feel depressed, okay? Watch a movie, okay? Listen to music, okay? Uh, don't 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 drink and drive, okay? Some people say, oh, I drink, it will help me to relax. Um, personally, I really recommend you talking to someone, okay? Remember, you are here to have fun. You are here to study. If you feel depressed, you feel pressure, talk to someone okay there must be someone that you can talk to okay all right f and q now that's a flag okay in taiwan uh, i cannot speak chinese what should i do what well, is speaking english then okay now you say i cannot speak english what am i gonna do <laughs> show them on your google translation okay Use your body language. A lot of people know how to speak in English here in Taiwan. If you really don't, they don't. You just, you know, right on the, right on the cell phone, show them, okay? Don't be shy. You need to communicate in order to be improved. It's not just only improve you, it improve the other party too. Am I right? So it is a mutual two ways, okay? Now, more thing to add. More people use the app called Line here. Now people use Line. You probably know about what Line look, look like. Okay, that's the Line. Okay, that's the Line that people use Line, which you, you oh, that's okay. 
I guess you know they don't want me to show you too much. Uh, line is the app here, okay? Um, a lot of people use line here. Um, dress up. I said dress up means dress up doesn't mean that you have to be suit and tie every day. Just properly, you know, wear something normal. Your traditional clothes is fine if you feel comfortable. Nobody will look you down. Nobody will treat you like, oh my, what it is. No, no, no. Just be yourself. You'll be okay. Okay. Well, there's no casino in Taiwan. Okay. Again, online gambling is on your phone, uh, but that is or, or your, your computer. Uh, there's no casino in Taiwan. So don't let them fool you. I bring you to casinos that you experience like Las Vegas. No, Taiwan has no casinos. Okay, conclusions. Well, there is a night market. I see somebody uh, actually texting here, says, can you show me what is the good night market in Taipei? But well, there's too many, okay? Well, there's, there's a few good ones that you can go. Uh, when you come to the school, your friends and your seniors will show you. Okay, I hope that you enjoy and you're learning and, and your nightlife, night your new life in Taiwan will come to Taiwan, okay? Now, um, this is about my uh, section here. So, is anybody have any questions to ask me? Please do. Yeah. Sir, is there any uh, Chinese language class in campus for students who cannot Chinese, who cannot speak Chinese? Okay, that you can ask the same, uh, the, the, uh, this question on the 9th, uh, September 8th, a new student orientation. They will show you uh, the class that you can apply to. Okay, so remember September the 8th, that's a student orientation. They have a lot more details for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Please. Uh, I noticed that uh, from this slide, I see that uh, Mandarin character is a little different from Chinese character that I have to learn. Uh, I concern that it will have to learn uh, Mandarin or is just uh, a little same as the Chinese? Well, I tell you what, uh, don't be mistaken, okay? Mandarin is Chinese, Chinese is Mandarin, all right? It's just saying Chinese language is Mandarin. The, the character that you're talking about is in writing, okay? The writing is interesting, all right? Interesting says that uh, it is not that easy, not like spelling your 26, uh, uh, Alphabets, they're spelling a word, like W-O-R-D for word. Uh, Chinese characters are each individual word. They combine them together, become a language. So uh, from speaking and communication into the writing, um, I will say that you will need to do both at the same time, okay? Learn that word how to pronounce. Like, let me go back to a previous page that we, we look at the da. okay? Let me show you. Not the choreographies, okay? It's just pure writing, all right, right here. Now look at that. National, uh, look at my cursor, National Taipei University of Technology. National, this is nation, national. What is, that's a Taipei, Taipei. Hey, Taipei, technology, 科技, 科技, technology, university, 大学, 大学. You see that? Every character that you have to memorize. Okay, right here, pick it up, take it out here, 北科大, abbreviate, 北科大, for your, your school. So, to directly answer back to your question, you need to learn from very easy wording, like big, small, one, two, three, four, in order to build up your vocabularies. Did I answer your question? Uh, technically, they have the same. Uh, uh, w w when we uh, speak, we mm -hmm. use the same 
same word, but yes. when they yes. write, uh, it's different. Okay, thank uh, you. No, 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 no. S speaking and the writing is the same pronunciation. There's no writing different than than uh, the speaking. Like for example, right here, show you the very very easy word here. Okay, right here, this word, da. Okay, pronounce da. da. It, it pronounced da. Okay, it says da. It writes da. Pronounce da. da. Yes. Okay, means big, big, big. This word is okay. big. Okay, ke, ke pronounce ke, be pronounce be. Okay, so okay. it will not have a two. Well, you know what? The, uh, syllables that there's more complicated later on. You know, they have upper tone, lower tone, they make a different meaning, but that's in language part of it, not the vocabulary or choreography side, not the writing part of it. Okay? Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. So the wording that you learn, the wording you learn is exactly how you say it. So you will not have two different uh, spelling. Okay. Okay. All right. Anybody have any more questions about traveling, about the lifestyle, about expenses? Well, great. If not, okay. Um, school and uh, all the students. I hope that you enjoy the time that you spending in Taiwan. And be careful. Again, I say three times to be careful, be careful, be careful. Everything that you do, you know, be safe first. Uh, and then enjoy your study. Enjoy your life. Make a lot of friends. Remember, friends is your your friends is your assets. Okay. When you go back after you study, go back to your own country. You have a lot of friends, your classmates in Taiwan and all over the world because you if you stay in your little group, you always stay in your group. Uh, my recommendation to you is that you reach out, you make a lot of friends, they will eventually in your future life, they will be your great assets, okay? Get your uh, degree, get your diploma, and also your certificates, okay? Try to collect as many certificates as you can that will good for you to build up your potential on your job market and your life. Okay. Thank you, everybody. That section ends here. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for information. Goodbye. Okay, thank you. Thank you. See you. See you. Yeah. See you on campus. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, thank you, Okay, thank you. 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 Okay,